All right, everybody, this is Ross. Today we're gonna look at one of my favorite fruits that I grow here in the yard. And it's a totally misunderstood fruit because a lot of people really don't understand when to pick them. It's called the honeyberry. And for me, as I said, it really is one of my favorites. It is seriously a very tasty fruit. And today I'm gonna go around to about six or seven bushes that I have here on the property of different varieties. And we're gonna talk about the differences here that I'm experiencing in flavor and do a little bit of a taste test. And maybe even look a little bit here at some of the plants. This is, I think, Boreal Beast or Boreal Beauty. I have to look at the tag on the next one that we'll look at and that'll tell me for sure. But these are of the Boreal series. And this is a rather early fruiter. It's still quite young. It's in a lot of shade over here in the corner literally right next to a giant black cherry tree in the root zone of a black cherry tree and it is producing fruit it's been producing fruit now for two years although it is getting established and i think it actually really enjoys its spot now this is a variety that's said to be very sweet so that's why i've kind of picked it up because in the past when i was learning about this fruit i did not realize that I was picking them at the wrong time. And typically you can tell that both of these really are not as ripe as they should be because they're still rather firm. They're obviously very blue. This one here is actually a bit soft. So maybe this one will be a good representation. Let's try it. Oh, wow. Very good. That's actually incredible. So has a really good tartness and it's very sweet. I wouldn't say it's as sweet as, let's say, I don't know, some of the sweeter fruits like a stone fruit, but it's certainly as sweet as something like a blueberry. So for me, that was really good. Very complex, very good flavor, a burst of flavor in my mouth. Let's try the one that really wasn't as ripe. Still rather sweet. Very good flavor on that one. I'm a huge fan, so let's see. The variety in this one, this is the Boreal Beast that we're looking at. So the one we just tried was the Boreal Beauty. And I've also, since this year, I picked up the uh, Blizzard. So there's three of them of the Boreal Honeyberries. So here we have some that are very, very soft. Let's try this. Wow. Very different flavor on that one. Here's two more that are very soft. You can tell just how soft these are. That one was more along the lines of a honeyberry. There's kind of the inside there. This one has a different flavor than the rest. And I don't exactly know what that was. That was a very unusual berry flavor. Let's try more of them. This one does remind me a bit more, hmm. I like how this one, this variety, by the way, is holding onto the, the bush, even though they're very soft. So that's a key thing there that's really important as we'll point out as we look at some of the other vines or the other bushes. That one was very tart. Guys, I don't, I think it's more like a blueberry flavor on this one. It's like a kiwi plus a blueberry plus a grape. That one tastes more like a blueberry as they look like blueberries, obviously than I've ever had. And typically they really don't resemble blueberries. So that's, to me, very interesting. All right, let's move on. This is a variety over here, I think is either Maxi or Solo. This is one of the first bushes I planted. It's probably in its fifth season now. Um, I would guess this is five, this is year five for this one. So let me come underneath here. I have a bush or a, a net on all of these. You have to net them. 
If you don't net them, you're gonna regret it because you ain't gonna get anything. Let's kind of reposition ourselves here. I'm not seeing too many that are soft. This one came right off. Let's get ourselves a handful because you know what? I enjoy eating these berries even when they're not soft and not totally ripe. They're just not very sweet in that situation. And some people get really thrown off by just how not sweet they are. What I do is I kind of just really just lightly tug on, not even tug, I kind of lightly touch them and they'll fall right into my hand. If they don't do that, I don't really pick them. This variety I find for whatever reason, it does not get as sweet or excuse me, as soft as it needs to be because they typically fall off the bush prematurely. Oh, this one here is quite soft. It looks like something has been pecking at these. So maybe a little bit, um, a little bit deceiving. I'll take one there for the team. Eating around the bird pecks. Not that sweet, still quite tart. In my mind though, a very good fruit. I just in generally, generally I like all of them. I don't care how ripe they are, but I am trying to find one that's really, really ripe because I want to get a good representation of this. This again looks like something got at it, but let's try it. Yeah. Hmm. So this one doesn't have like, you know, a really vastly different flavor than the rest. I do need to find out if the flavor will change as they get more ripe, obviously. Here's another one. Some of them are falling to the ground. And maybe some of these on the ground. Question is, do I eat this? Now they're just falling to the ground. Oh, this one actually is rather soft. All right, we succeeded then. We found one that's relatively soft. It took me a while, guys. Sorry about that. Yeah, that one was sweet. Still very good. This one here actually is rather soft too. More on the tart side. So, yeah, I don't... I don't exactly, I'm not really picking up much differences in the flavor of this one compared to the other. So maybe that'll change in the future, but for now, it is what it is. This one here is rather soft. Nope, not that sweet. Now, believe it or not, as they get softer, as they get sweeter, the complexity, the acidity, the tartness, the, even the sourness goes away, which I don't like. There's a happy medium here somewhere. But some of the berries, some of the varieties will remain really sweet and have the complexities that I really like. This variety here it seems to be quite late. I have harvested very few berries off of this. I don't know what this is. I wish I did. And the next three bushes that we're going to look at, I do not know the names of, but I think they're either Blue Moon or Blue Velvet or Solo or Maxi. It's some combination of that. There's a lot of fruits on this that have held well on the bush which is great. It's exactly what you want. All right. Let's try some of these. They're a little soft. Mm. So this is a good one. I feel like a lot of people would like this. 
not an overwhelmingly complex flavor, but very good. So kiwi grape, blueberry. This one's getting sweet. Yeah, I wish I had more to report. You know, this is honestly my first real tasting of that bush. You know, I've tasted them in other years, but I have not tasted them yet this, this season. Believe it or not, it is the end of June. We're pretty much here, I think it's the summer solstice today. So we're officially in the, in the summer and they're fruiting, which takes a while if you think about it, because these fruits, they're the first to turn blue in the yard, which happens at the end of May, but it takes some of them almost an entire month before they fruit, which is kind of, or an entire month before they're ripe, which is kind of ridiculous and very misleading. Here's another one here actually on the left. There's two bushes planted right next to each other. This, I have a feeling, is the same exact variety that we just looked at, which is probably, if I had to guess, Blue Moon or Blue Velvet. And these are very, very late and have held on the bush extremely well. Very productive, but smaller in size. And I th actually think these are still not really ready. So I'm not really gonna get a good accurate tasting on this, I think. Here, here's one right here, but the problem is I've had to take this off. Oh, okay, there's a, an earwig in that one. That's, that's new. Ish. That was pretty nasty, huh? All right, sorry about that. Let's try this guy. Oh, that's actually very good. So again, though, not really all that different. And this is another variety here that produces very large berries of lesser quantity that ripen relatively early and are very tasty. These have more of the acidity and tartness and complexity of berry flavor that I look like or that I look for, which you often find, or which I believe this variety here, it's almost done, is either solo or maxi. I would be a little bit shocked if this was blue moon or blue velvet, personally. This is a good variety. Whatever this is, I like it. Um, and I've already eaten many handfuls of this particular bush. So you can tell it's very different than the one right next to it, which is ripening much later and they're still very firm on the bush. There may be some down here. Yep. Let's see, what is this? Here, this one's probably very soft or very sweet. This one here. Nope, this one's a bit firm. Let's try this one on the ground first. Actually, still very sour. All right, this one here is probably somewhat right. Hmm. So, to be totally honest with you guys, I'm not really picking up too many different flavors in some of these berries. The differences between them are relatively, there's really not that many. They're all relatively the same. I thought this Boreal Beast over here was quite good um and different 
definitely had more of a blueberry and a sweeter flavor to it than the rest. The first one we had, the Boreal Beauty, actually I think is the best. This one ripens first. It is the earliest I have. And I don't think that's supposed to be the case, but it is the case. Um, and it is very good. The fruit quality on that I think is the best. But only if you get them perfect. And they do tend to, I think, fall off the bush a bit. Prematurely. Maybe that'll change with age, but yeah, I think the Boreal ones are the best ones so far. So I do hope you guys, you know, appreciated this. Um, it is indeed one of my favorite fruits and I go out of my way to eat these berries. Oh, there's one other bush back there that I haven't even harvested yet from. Let's see if we can get something from it. This one I think is solo or maxi as well. Here's one that's quite soft. Oh, that's very good. These are very soft. Not all of them. But I've definitely been patient enough with this bush. I think that's the problem with this video is if I waited another week, I wouldn't have gotten the first honeyberries that we looked at. Uh, but I would have gotten some of the, the later ones that we looked at at a better state. Now this one here appears to be at the right exact time. So this one maybe is a mid-season variety. These are just weird, but let's see. Hmm. Wow, that's very good. When you get them perfect, man, they're so good. This one tastes more like a grape. Very, very sweet. And I think when you get them this, this soft, this is definitely really, I think, um, what a lot of people will enjoy. So anyway, thank you guys here for watching this. I do appreciate it. Again, if you enjoy this, please let me know. Hit the subscribe button. Check out some of the other videos we've done on honeyberries now. I'm trying to get more information out about this particular fruit. It really is one of the best. And so tell your friends, <laughs> uh, if you want to grow something new and interesting, this is it. And for me, you got to be a little bit more, more patient. That's all it is. Before you, you know, put too much judgment on this, please just be a bit patient because it really is well worth the wait. So, all right, guys, take care. We'll see you for the next one.